Hi everyone, welcome back to the craft room. Today's card is going to be made using 666286, which is Gentleman, Tim Holtz, and I have pulled out this little guy. And as you can see, I've cut him a few times, and his just his legs and save it on paper, don't you know? So he's going to be my template that I'm going to stick everything to and then I'm going to do a bit of chopping and changing um, I don't want him to have a hat on I want him to have hair so I think the first thing I'm going to do is do his face and hair so I'm just going to give myself a bit of a guide as to where that's going to be and I think about there looks right sometimes I don't give myself enough head compared to face so I'm thinking about there first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to chop his arm off there I'm going to chop him off there because I don't know how much neck I want on him and I'm going to cut his head like that. If I need to cut a bit more off his head, I will. But we'll see once we've got his hair on there. So let me rub that out. And I'll start by doing a bit of colouring on those. So let me grab some pens. For his skin and hair, I've got big, 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 brick beige and clay and dark suntan and light mahogany. So I think I'll do his hair first. So we are going to say he's going to have hair, a bit of a pinky bit, like that I think. Here. I've done that in the darkest one, so I need to get a darker one. <laughs> Doesn't matter, we'll go with copper. So I'm just going to do a little bit of dark on here, a little bit of a. I don't know, a bit of a variation in his hair. And then his skin. So we're going to do dark for his hairline and his ear. Bit in there. And then I don't know whereabouts his clothes are going to come to, so I might have to pop a bit more of that on later. So let's just do this is just knuckles there, a bit dark at the bottom. So there's that. Next, I'm going to do. He's going to have a t shirt on and a jacket. So I'm just going to do a bit of a guide because I want, to, I want the jacket hanging open. So I'm just going to see how this is going to go before I start chopping it about. Do it that way a little bit. Open there. Where's that? So let's try that again. Do that a bit. Oh, do that a bit more. Open, I think. A bit more this side. 
T-shirt on, so the T-shirt's going to come a bit lower. <coughs> you can chop his hand off there. This is behind. Let me chop off his jacket then. There's a lot of noise going on outside. Hopefully I'll be able to take out the background noise when I edit. Not, I apologise. So there's his jacket, which will go on like that, and his T-shirt will be underneath. So. I I think I'm going to cut off his t-shirt. I might need to cut, oh no I've got some legs there haven't I? As I say I think I might have to cut another one but we probably won't have to. So his t-shirt is going to be a round neck like that. And I want it just hanging just a little bit lower than and that and the sleeve's going to be showing there. And if you're going to use pencil on here and then colour, you need to get rid of the pencil. The alcohol markers will just seal it in, but you'll still be able to see it. So that is his t-shirt. And I'll rub those out in a minute. I am going to just put a bit of a shadow here. I don't want to draw on the t shirt there. Like that. I'm just going to put that shadow on there. In again, that chin, those chin is. That's his. That's his T-shirt, which is going to be white. So I'll put some grey on that once I get this on. And let me pull out some colours for this suit. So he's going to have a nice blue suit. And for the dark I've got PB4 Napoleon Blue, um, Ultramarine B190 for the mid-tone and B180 Vienna Blue for the light tone. I'm going to have to rub this out again. Try and remember where it is. And he's going to have a collar coming down here and then a lapel like that. His arm's going to go behind, so 
a little bit darker. A bit of dark along the bottom. Might have to go a little bit darker on the dark one just to accentuate the lapels and such. Might try a dark grey, cool grey seven. Might not be the right thing to do, but let's try it. It's the time of it. So that's for that side, and then the other side, help this out, oops, I think on the thing, and that fell, okay that's in there, the dark down there, make his eyes going to be like that, the darker there, the dark there. I'm going to do the grey again on that one. Actually, he's got an indication of the pocket there as well. He's got an indication of the pocket there as well. Like that. I can see that as well, right? Let me just touch up that little spot that I've missed. Okay, so that goes on there. And that goes on there. I just need to do his t-shirt. I've got cool grey zero and cool grey twenty. Actually we'll use the zero. I'll just do the shadow down there and the shadow down there. So let's just blend that in a little bit. A bit down here. There's that piece and that piece. And that piece. Legs, 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 legs. I am going to cut his legs in half because at the minute he looks like he's got MC Hammer pants on. We don't want those. So what I'm going to do is cut that leg up like that and then cut this leg up like that to give him a gap in between. Doesn't need a huge gap. Mm. 
Use these little hooks. And I need to cut his shoes off. No, I'll put his shoes on top. I think. Yeah, let's do these trousers. They come out of there like that. Legs. Let's get, let's get some of this stuck on, and then I can. Uh, oh no, I still need to get the shoes on first. I think. Let me cut off here. And cut off here. Just touch that up there. Shoes seven seventy and thirty. Stuck and him put together. We can start from the bottom up. Shoes on first. I'm going to do a bit of a sole in black. Legs on next. I do need to cut up there though because that's not going to be needed there now. Make sure that that's oh, enough, I believe. Yes. It's not too short now. Might be. Let's hope his t-shirt gets down to there. Just. Just. Uh, glue up that. So that. There's no blue showing through. A little bit of blue on his t-shirt now. Of course we have. I'm going to do some stitching around it with his um, nice grey around the neck. I think I might put the jacket on and then do the shading. Let me get that on there. Too long, what do you think? I can't lose too much, I'm still little. I might lose a little bit off there actually. That'll be okay, I think. So, a little bit of shading down here. Put 
do need to get this bit on first so I need to cut his head off The only thing left is his glasses, sunglasses. So I'm going to have to draw those on, I think. I don't think I've got anything that would be small enough to do glasses for him. I'll probably have, but it's finding something. I think I'm going to draw them on. What have we got there? Five. There he is. So from oh actually I've got him cut out here somewhere. So from that to that, let me get tidied up and we'll crack on. I've made a card base and a mat layer for him. And while I was doing that I thought I would pull out this one. is Tim Holtz Stampers Anonymous Observation, Observation CMS434 I think I am going to use that one and that one I thought what I could do is have something along those lines and then he could just be oh, that way maybe he could just be stood there so just a little bit of a something something for him to stand on because he looks a bit like a dreamer I think that's what I'm going to do Let me get the stamp platform. Okay. So say that's there. And that's there. And he's going to stand about there. We want him so that he's... We don't want him not coming out the top of his head, so... I think we'll say there. Like that. But I don't want the bottom of that. So put that about there. We should miss the bottom of it. And I'm going to use pumice stone, distress oxide. Might be a bit light, but 
I would almost do a different colour if I don't like it. Just a tad. I think that's okay. Let me uh, put this on here. I'm going to do a little bit grounding on him. So let me pull out a couple of uh, pumice type colours, which are yellow grey and four and yellow grey eight. So we'll get him on and then I'll just do a little bit of grounding on him. Today's card. I think for a first attempt, he turned out great. I love him. I love him. And as I say, from that to that, not too shabby. I think this is going to be quite a long one. Actually, yeah, well, not not too bad. Took about an hour, just over. So I should be able to cut it down a bit, hopefully not cut out too much. So that's it for this time. Thank you. Rabbit saying goodbye. <laughs> so that's it for this time. Thank you so much for watching. I'll catch you next time. <laughs> okay. Bye.